Hi, the 2014 Houses for Hope, sponsored by St. John and Myers. I'm very proud to have the Executive Director of the UK Art Museum, Stuart Haradner. Yes, UK has an art museum, and here he is, the Director. Howdy. So let's get started. He's here today to talk about the creativity and the use of mixed medium in a gingerbread house. Number 15 is the uh, Frozen Castle, Stu. What do you think of this one? Well, you know, looking at, all, looking at all of them, I mean, what you're getting into here is a classic theme and variation. People trying to make the most inventive, the most creative gingerbread houses. They're using materials in a wild way. One of the things I like about this one, obviously, is the choice of color. The palette's really limited. You're in this kind of icy blue, white. Frozen house. Frozen house. Frozen well, castle. Of course, okay. From the movie Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm helping. Yeah, I'm, I'm helping. A, you I'm a little here. old. Okay. Comes. I'm helping you here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. But you've got, you know, like a very chilly effect because of all the color choice and the palette's like really limited but extremely inventive. The buffalo might look a little bit like this right now. Right? Did they get snap? Just a little. Oh, okay. This is number 17, the Christmas cottage. Well, I tell you, you know, if the frozen castle made me think I should have been wearing a nice silver suit to visit that one, I think I'm perfectly dressed for this one. The beans are being used as uh, stones and the masonry here. And don't you want, I, I want to live in a house that's got a lasagna roof. All the time. I mean, look at this. I'm quite Italian. I think it'd be great. This is perfect. It shows great inventiveness, great creativity, whether you're trained or not. You know, some of the great folk artists, like, the thing that makes it great is that it's transforming everyday things into something else. These are all showing that. So here's number 10. This was done by one of the CKRH associates, mm -hmm. and it's called Winter Wonderland. Just a wonderful horse thing. Well, it's, one of, it's the first one we looked at where now you actually have the presence of the horse, which of course factors into this whole charity, right? Oh, yes. Look, yes. If they're char I mean, they're charming. Each one has their own, you know, special kind of quality of voice, use of materials, use of scale, different, 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 different scales. Different property values given the nature of the. Uh, well, this property value is way up because this is the top. This is the one people are bidding on the most. I think someone's bid eighty dollars to take this home for Christmas. Okay. So well, obviously, they're voting with their wallets, and yeah. this is the winner. Well, we want, right now we want excellence to be rewarded, right? So the voting is what we're going for. But, right. You know, talent should be uh, encouraged here. This was talent. Well, this one doesn't is... look like a happy Christmas necessarily. Maybe a more cautionary tale, you know? <laughs> yeah. What are we looking at here? This is number 18, Diet Coke and Mentos, a cautionary okay. tale. Okay, all right, so we're reading it properly. What is, uh, you know what happens when you put those things together, right? The big alcohol! Wake up to the moon! They explode. Yeah, yeah, so we've got Mentos here. We have got a diet, some, coke, a diet coke underneath, giving it structure. We've got some purple Twizzlers spinning around. You want to be careful with your lights at Christmas. You want to be careful not to overdo it. You know, right. you're cooking. You want to make sure flames are kept in the proper places. Too much char and too much mayhem. You know, this is like kids happy for Christmas, but you know the wrong combination of materials. And uh, it's like fireworks at Christmas time. It's Not good. you know, I mean, Mentos are great for breath, but once you put them in that combo with the soda, you're in trouble. Well, Stuart, we're here at number 22. Christmas Whoville or Whoville at Christmas? Well, I don't think we're talking about uh, Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey in Whoville, right? We're talking about Dr. Seuss. It's very good. No, I don't think Roger Daltrey had anything to do with this one. Uh, it's a little, maybe Keith Moon, but you know. <laughs> uh, look at this little green hair on the, the uh, Grinch. Little Cindy Lou Who. The big star that looks like. Carl's Jr. on top. It's kind of creative. Almost looks like it should have a happy face in the middle. The, the materials here are, I mean, they're very handmade. It always feels I think super this handmade. Is icing. Icing. Okay. Like fondant icing. Yeah. And this is uh, frosting. Yeah. This one has a real, like, handmade, loopy, drippy, kind of, like, just the, the foodie, tactile part of it's really, really awesome. I love it. 
So in here we have number 14. Let's decorate the house. It's the first one that we have where you've got another medium. You've got the, another medium. You've got uh, figures animating this one. Thank you for coming in and thank you for the critique. I, I think this was a great fun. It'll have to be an annual event. These are fabulous. CKRH thanks you. I thank you. And hopefully we're going to break last year's record of $2,000. That would be great. This was really fun. Thanks for having me. Was that fun? If you liked what Stuart had to say, please comment below, like and share the video. If you didn't like the video, like and share it anyway. It's Christmas. Get your act together. Or go in a corner and be depressed. And please come in and support CKRH. Pop in, visit, it's a dollar to vote for your favorite house. And you can also bid to buy and take one of these fantastic works of art home.